Hello kids, how are you? Well, this is the last week of school and today you are going to do the last science homework. Are you ready? Let's go. So, this is the document you are going to find on the blog and I'm going to explain to you the exercises you have to do. The first one is to watch a video with questions. The video is about the tertiary sector. So, we click on the link and we are going to do a video with some questions. If you remember, uh, the video is going to stop in different points and you will have to answer different questions. When you finish watching the video, you will have to do a worksheet about the tertiary sector. So again, you click on this link and you have a very easy worksheet about the tertiary sector. The first exercise says, what services do these photographs represent? ¿Qué servicios representan estas fotografías? And we have transport, education and health. We have to drag like this, for example. And the next exercise are four short questions. So, A. Domestic trade means buying and selling products within a country. What is foreign trade? If we click on this arrow, si clicamos en esta flecha, we have two different options. You have to choose the one that you think is the correct one. B. Are these examples of domestic trade or foreign trade? Write D, domestic, or F, foreign. You have to read the sentences carefully and in these boxes you have to write in capital letters tenemos que escribir en mayúsculas if they are domestic or foreign trade si son comercio doméstico o exterior C. Israel obtains oranges from Spain to make marmalade Is Israel importing or exporting oranges? ¿Está Israel importando o exportando naranjas? The same. You click on the arrow and you have two options. D. Ireland sells lamb to French country. Is Ireland importing or exporting lamb? And again, you have two options. Okay, when you, you remember when you finish the exercises, click on Terminado. You write your name, your uh, class, and our emails. The last exercise is to complete a mind map. If you can print the paper, you are going to complete it here. But if you can't, you have to copy it on your notebook. Si podéis imprimir la hoja, más sencillo, lo completamos directamente aquí, ¿vale? Con las palabras que faltan. Si no tenéis impresora, pues en una hoja del cuaderno lo tendréis que copiar. Okay, everything. And don't forget to take a picture of the mind map and send it to us. No os olvidéis de sacar una fotografía del mapa conceptual y enviar. Okay, so this is the homework for today. I think it's going to be very easy if you have studied and reviewed it. And I only hope you have a great summer. Bye bye.